What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of my player career mode. This is episode number 52 and we start today's episode with a game against Roma here. Uh, coming on the back of that draw against Napoli uh, in the Coppa Nationale and before that in the Serie A we faced Napoli and we drew that game as well. So after two successive draws against Napoli we now take on Roma here in the Serie A. And also I was glad to be playing this game as well because in the last episode you would have seen right at the end I did pick up a knock but thankfully it wasn't a serious injury and I'm able to get myself back into the first 11 and keep on on playing the games because this is a really big clash this is one of the games you have to be involved in because you really do need to help your side pick up the points Roma currently sitting in third place we're currently top of the table so very very big game here at the top of the Serie A and the first chance we're for here in the 12th minute is Jovino finds Nyan Golan he gets on the board and plays it back towards the former Arsenal man down the left hand side slides it through towards Nyan Golan who crosses to the far post but Mandzukic is denied by a fantastic save by our goalkeeper Stefan what a stop that was I thought for sure as soon as that cross got played to the far post Mandzukic was going to finish it with ease but what a save by our goalkeeper and in the 43rd minute you see Roma uh, play the ball out from the back here from the goal kick eventually comes to Marquinho here who slides it through towards De Rossi De Rossi then offloads it towards Florenzi Florenzi collects the ball down the right hand side here and uh, plays it back towards Torresidis and as you can see here I'm trying to put the pressure on I'm trying to shut down the Roma players, I'm trying to make sure they don't have simple passes, but unfortunately on player career mode and on the a against the AR on Legendary, you know, just, just on the whole really, it's very, very hard to get the ball off the opponents and as you can see, all they're doing is just exploiting the space, working the ball around, trying to make me chase the ball and it's really frustrating because I can't get the ball off them and eventually as Jose Angel collects the ball, he finds Jovino, Jovino slides it through towards Mandzukic, really good chance here as he finds Jovino, Jovino plays it through towards Marquinho and Marquinho scores, so after a very, 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 very long passing phase, the ball gets played inside and Roma's number seven chips it past Stefan and makes it 1-0. So I was just sitting there thinking, that is so annoying, isn't it? There's literally nothing I can do about that at all because I'm trying my hardest to get the ball off them, but I just can't do it. And as soon as the ball gets played forward, you know he's going to finish and he does. He chips it over Stefan and makes it 1-0. I did have a really good chance there in the 47th minute, but unfortunately Sirigu denied me from close range and it was still 1-0 to the visitors. So as things stood, we were currently on course to lose our first game in the Serie A, so not looking very good. But in the 60th minute, Asamoah collects the ball here and as he gets tackled, I win the ball back and keep on going, just play the advantage rule, go down left-hand side, swinging across. I pick out my man, Javi Martinez, and he heads it past Sirigu to make it 1-1. So lovely little cross there by myself and a good header by Javi Martinez. And we are back on level terms. So very pleased about that one. Again, it was a, a lovely little cross from the left-hand side. And Javi Martinez turns it in as well. So my crosses this season have been really accurate, haven't they? And uh, yeah, it's one apiece here. And in the 66th minute, you see Romy get on the ball again. Marquinhos, the goal scorer, finds De Rossi. De Rossi plays it over the top towards Jovino. But Zagli doesn't really deal with it. It falls to nine Golan. But thankfully for us, he puts it wide. That's a real let -off. That's some shocking defending. But thankfully, the shot goes wide and out for a goal kick. And in the 90th minute, one of the last chances would fall here as uh, Roma give the ball away. Pepe finds Tevez, he gives it to me. I played the ball over the top towards the run of uh, Eden Hazard, I think it was, but the shot was well saved by Sirigu and turned behind for a corner. Really good save there. And in the 90th minute, the last chance would fall to us. Quick little fake Rabona, two fake Rabonas in a row. Lovely piece of skill to beat my man. And as I get into uh, the box, I get tackled. But the referee pulled a play back for a free kick. As it was, as I got fouled here after a couple of nice skill moves to beat Torresidis. So, really good chance from this free kick. It is going to be, uh, I think it's Harry Martinez to stand over and take it. He crosses the ball to the far post. And a header by me goes just wide and out for a goal key. It was Tevez who took it, actually. Uh, Tevez crossed the ball and he picked me out with a header. But unfortunately, it was the last... Uh, uh, incident in the game and my header went wide so 1-1 one, one the final score that's now three draws in a row not very good but unfortunately it was just one of those games really where to be honest I didn't think I played that badly you know I got an 8.1 rating yes my shooting boots were a little bit off in that game but to be honest I played very well when I was sort of dropping deeper and supporting a team I got the assist for our only goal of the game so I played quite well in my opinion but even so we did draw the game and unfortunately for us we just can't seem to get a wins at the moment but even so uh, we took on Hellas for only here uh, in the league in the following game in uh, on the weekend and to be honest coming into this game again I could have done with a rest do you know what I mean we're still top of the table by two points we're still unbeaten I really could have done with a rest in this game because no disrespect to Hellas Verona but you definitely expect us with them uh, almost in the relegation zone in the league you definitely expect us to get a win in this game but instead the manager wanted to pick me and play me and I was like seriously could I not just take a breather because of course we did have a Champions League game in midweek and I'd rather play in that one 
and really fully fit for it. But still, uh, the first chance this game would fall here in the 14th minute as uh, Easton strikes this shot, but it's a good stop by the goalkeeper as he turns it behind for a corner. And in the 17th minute, another good chance for us here. Tevez spreads the play out wide towards Asamoa. Asamoa rolls me through with a free ball. Quick little Magidi spin, then a fake Rabona. Play the ball backwards inside towards Tevez. He puts the ball into the bottom corner, but unfortunately the flag is up for offside. So that was kind of annoying. I was actually trying to seek the runner going through as opposed to play it to Tevez. You can see the man on the edge of the area running through there. I was trying to play it to him, but instead Tevez did score, but unfortunately it was uh, ruled out for offside incorrectly. So, and in the 41st minute, I had a giant throw in here. The goalkeeper spilt it, but unfortunately we couldn't turn it in either, and the shot was put behind for a corner. So, unfortunately, Tevez's shot was blocked and out for a corner, and from that corner, it is played short. Short again towards Marquisio, who tries to cross the ball in, it's blocked, his second cross is played inside, it's headed away, it's not really dealt with, it comes to me, I uh, control the ball here, go down the right hand side, keep on going, I beat Grossi with the Berber spin, get inside and shoot, but again, it's another good stop by the goalkeeper, who was having a very good first half, and it was still 0-0, and it was how the first half would finish, and in the second half you see Barzagli get on the ball here, and uh, offload it to Chiellini. Chiellini spreads it out wide towards Asamoa. Asamoa gives it to me. I'm down the left hand side. A quick little scoop turn here. Stop. Get onto my right foot here. Don't really know where to go. So I played inside towards Javi Martinez. And Javi Martinez makes it 1 0. So for the second time in two games, it's myself who gets the assist and Javi Martinez who gets the goal. So some nice link up play with a Spanish holding midfielder here. Not really going to be renowned for scoring too many goals, especially when we've got players like Tevez and myself and Hazard in this side. But even so, he makes Makes it 1-0 and we're in front. And in the 66th minute we had a free kick here. Marquisio collects the ball and gives it to Hazard. Hazard plays to Marquisio. He gives it to me. I try and finesse it into the top corner from range but it goes over the bar and out for a goal kick. And directly from that I thought, do you know what? You know, we've played so much better. Hellas Verona haven't had a single shot in this game. I'm going to request a sub. You know, we've got 24 minutes to go. I've done my job. I've got the assist for, you know, what could possibly be the only goal of the game. And yeah, I've done my job. I'm going to request a sub and get myself off the pitch because we are taking on Chelsea in midweek and I really want to play in that game in the Champions League, far more important to me so I sell myself off, uh, I'm not sure who it was that came on but even so I'm off the pitch now, I can't influence the game so I simulate it and I felt confident my team would do the job and as you'll see as well, they did indeed win the game, they went to score another two goals, we won it by three goals to nil and we will stay top of the table by a guaranteed two points uh, minimum, so yeah, good win very pleased with it, got the assist and that's all there is to it but uh, yeah, we do take on Chelsea on the Tuesday night here, away in in London at Stamford Bridge so I think this is my first return uh, to England since leaving uh, Fulham so yeah we take on Chelsea here and uh, to be honest I was really excited for this game because I really did want to win it you know this is the Champions League round of 16 we're into the, uh, the knockout stages now it's going to be really really tense and Chelsea of course they have a really good side and yeah it's going to be a difficult game no doubt about it but of course we've got a really strong squad as well and I definitely do feel as though if we can get an away goal in this game we'd feel very confident about our chances of going through to the quarterfinals. Of course, I'm not a big fan of Chelsea either, so I was looking forward to playing the game. But still, uh, yeah, I looked at Chelsea's side, and again, they've got some great players. They've brought well. They've got Balotelli leading the line for them up top. So, obviously, they've got some very decent players in their squad. But I still felt as though we would still have a lot of confidence coming into this game, of course, on the back of that win against Hellas Verona. And we've got some good players as well. I still felt as though we should be uh, looking to, you know, not just get a draw in this game, but get the win as well. And the first chance would fall to us in a 12th minute. I tried a very instinctive shot on the volley from range, but unfortunately went just wide the post and out for a goal kick. Should have dribbled in really, but went for the style and unfortunately went wide and still nil-nil. And in the 38th minute, Marquisio finds uh, his man. He plays it to me. I play it back towards Marquisio. It goes out wide towards Hazard against his former club here. He plays it back inside towards Geraldo. Geraldo plays it forward towards Isla. He gives it to me. I play it back towards the Chilean down the right-hand side here. He plays it back to me. Some nice link-up play here. I go down the right-hand side, take on my man, swing in a cross towards the centre but unfortunately it's a really good save by Czech to deny Tevez what a stop that was to deny Tevez from scoring there and it is still 0-0 and in the second half you see Schürrle get on the ball down the left hand side here takes on his man crosses to the far post, William has the header but it goes wide and out for a goal kick and this game unfortunately didn't really live up to expectations, I was expecting quite a few goals, some, some real drama but instead nothing was really happening but in the 56th minute you see Matic get on the ball and play it towards the centre, Oscar goes for the header it's flipped backwards towards Ramirez, Ramirez shoots, it's a good save by Stefan though, we get the ball away only as far as Balotelli, Balotelli collects and shoots it's blocked, so then it comes to Ramirez, Ramirez finds William, William crosses the ball in and Oscar nods it past 
Stefan and makes it 1-0. So in a game of few chances really, not what I was expecting, Oscar takes his and it's 1-0 to Chelsea here at Stamford Bridge. And I was just sitting there thinking, oh for goodness sake, seriously man, we've had a few good chances ourselves. We should have scored at least one goal by now, but still, Oscar makes it 1-0 and we're behind here in London. But in the 59th minute, you see Marquisio slide out wide towards Lichstein. He gives me all down the right hand side. I take on David Luiz, beat him with the McGee spin, cross the ball in and Tevez heads it past Czech and makes it one apiece. So as I shush the crowd there, we make it 1-1. We're back on level terms directly from kickoff. It's Tevez with the header. It's myself with the assist. And again, I'm racking up the assists at the moment. I'm playing very, very well at get, uh, getting the assists. And yeah, it's one apiece here. Tevez gets to go and I'm very pleased with that. We got ourselves that crucial away goal. Very important. And we're, one, uh, we're back on uh, level terms here at 1-1. And in the 82nd minute, Geraldo gets onto the ball here and spreads it out wide towards his man. Hazard against his former club slides me through. I take on to, uh, Gary Cahill, sorry, beat him with the step over and the shot is well saved by Czech. Tim Cahill? Gary Cahill. Uh, good shot by me there, but it's a good save by Czech and it is still one apiece. And uh, from this corner in the 88th minute, Lucas peers on cross the ball in. Gary Cahill wins the header like Tim Cahill would do, but Stefan makes the save and it's cleared away. So 1 1 the final score and yeah, it was a tough game, but I'm very pleased with the result because we do have that all important away goal and we're in the driving seat as we head back to Italy. But as always, guys, a big thank you for watching the video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. And I'll see you for the next episode of my player career mode very soon.